my name is Ashley and welcome to my YouTube channel. Okay guys, today I have another vegan product review and this one is actually all the way from Korea which I'm really excited to be trying out for you today. It is this guy right here. So this is from a brand called Daily Vegan. They reached out to me and asked me if I would review some of their vegan milks. And I said, yes, of course. Um, like many other people <laughs> this past few years, I have really started to learn a lot about Korean culture and I'm just like in love. So big shout out to Daily Vegan. I am so excited to try this bad boy right here. Now, a little bit about this, um, the container is entirely in Korean and my Korean is not very good. So I can't tell you much about this. So I went on their website where you can get an English Google translated version. Um, so I could tell you a little bit about this guy right here. This is, and you can kind of tell from the picture right there, this is a pea-based protein and they call it mildew. And it probably, cause I think that's what this is saying right here. So probably sounds more like, oh, I'm gonna butcher this. It, my Korean is not very good. Um, maudu, maudu, uri, ti, nor. I don't know what that means though. <laughs> like I said, I'm, I'm, I'm learning very slowly. So what I love about this is they do make it very obvious that this is a vegan milk. So if you're someone who's working over in Korea currently and you don't know very much Korean, um, they do make it really easy to see this in English as well. But I'm very excited to try this out. Um, one of the things about going vegan has always been trying out new products. It's always so fun and so exciting. Also, if you're wanting to support this company, they are a smaller company. So I'm gonna leave some links down below, their website, their Instagram links. So you can go ahead and check them out and support them. Um, and also maybe get some of this guy as well. But without further ado, let's try this. I'm gonna go ahead and shake it up. When it comes to trying out vegan milks or non-dairy milks, I usually like to drink it by itself just so that I can really taste the flavor um, instead of using it as a vehicle for like my cereal or something like that. But let's go ahead and check this guy out. Here we go. Mmm. Oh, this is nice. Yeah, okay, so it's really light and refreshing and those are the type of non-dairy milks I actually go for. I don't like the ones that feel very heavy. Very light, very refreshing, still like sweet though. Um, this would be like amazing for cereal. I have never been a person to drink milk straight. I've never, but I think I could actually like drink this by itself. So we're just heading into the fall season now. So I got my fall colors on, but uh, we had a really hot summer this year and this would have been really nice to have around just to like have as a nice like refreshing drink. So I think this will be perfect to like use on like those hot days where you need something refreshing because it is so light um, and just like that perfect amount of sweetness. But then you can also like use this for other things. You can throw it in with your cereal. You could probably use it for, um, if you wanted to like bake some like treats or whatever it might be and you want a little bit of sweetness from this, I think that'd be perfect. I wish I could tell you more information. Let me go back on their website and see if I can tell you any of the nutrition information. Okay, so I just did a quick like uh, photo translate thing. So hopefully this is all correct, but it looks like the first one is salt. And so that's gonna be 240 milligrams. And then carbs are gonna be 6.5 grams. Sugar is six grams. I don't know how much of that is added or natural. Um, fat is six grams. Trans fat is zero grams. Saturated fat is 0 0.9 grams and protein is four grams. While I'm looking on their website, one thing I really love is, uh, again, um, obviously I have it translated in English for myself, um, but they make it really easy to be able to tell like what's vegan, what's lacto-vegetarian, ovio-vegetarian, lacto-ovio-vegetarian, and pesca pescatarian. Here's the charts, so this is how you know it's vegan, and then it has all the different types of vegetarian options right there as well. I am um, honestly surprised. I expected it to be good. I didn't think it was gonna be bad. Um, but for me to like think that I can drink it by itself, that's very rare. Um, like I don't even do that with Oatly, you guys. And I love Oatly, I put Oatly in everything. I would love to do like flavored milk through them. If they had some flavor um, uyu, that'd be great. Like strawberry would be so good, banana, yum. Um, so I think like, I think this is really great. Um, and so for those of you who are able to support them, I would 100% recommend. Um, that way hopefully they'll come out with some flavored <laughs> options in the future for weirdos like me. I would put this 
and uh, my like top favorite uh, non-dairy vegan milks. Now, if you're wondering which um, vegan milks I currently use the most, I am a big Oatly person. Most of what I use is Oatly. Occasionally, I will get uh, So Delicious, which is a coconut-based one. So Oatly is an oat-based one. So Delicious is a coconut-based one. And then I would definitely put this in the top three. Um, and this is a pea protein based one. So if you ever have a chance and you want to check them out, I'd say go for it, do it. I think they are fantastic. I also love supporting smaller companies. And since they are a smaller company, I think it's just really great to get their name out there and share it with those of you who are able to find them locally or for those of you who would like to have them shipped to your area. But that's it for today, you guys. Let me know in the comments down below what you think of this. Have you tried it? I would love to know your thoughts as well. Uh, what do you love to partner it with? Do you love drinking it by itself? And if you haven't tried this, but you know some other fun uh, vegan Korean brands, I would love to know that personally. Um, once everything settles down with COVID, obviously I would love to make it over to uh, Asia and specifically Korea. So I'll uh, need a little bit of a heads up of what brands I should keep an eye out for. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to subscribe and also click the little bell that is down below right by the subscribe button. This just makes sure that you get notified for all of my upcoming content. Also, if you haven't already, give this video a big old thumbs up. And other than that, I'll see you guys next time. Bye.